So why was Quran revealed in Arabic and not in any other language? There are a few components to this question. The first thing is revelation itself and uh, the message sent from God to humanity wasn't only delivered in Arabic. Previous prophets came and according to our belief, a prophet was sent to every single nation and sent in their own languages. إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِمْ is the Arabic language or Arabic rendition of that in the Quran. We didn't send any messenger except in the language of the people. So, first thing to note is that the message of the oneness of God and of, you know, being warned about the afterlife and, you know, uh, confirming what your conscience already tells you about being a decent human being and accepting your Lord and Master, this is something that was given to all nations in all languages. This is our belief. But now we're talking about specifically the Qur'an, which we believe is the final revelation. And the final revelation was sent to the Arab peoples. Mm. And we don't say based on that that the Arabs are in any way superior. But what we do say is that, the, that God chose a, 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 a language and a people to communicate this message whose sensitivity to language and whose, whose uh, uh, appreciation of the finest nuances in language were very, very, very high. I mean, these people didn't have, but, but at the time of Revelation, these people didn't have infrastructure, monuments, l big civilizations. They had nothing, none of these things. So the only thing they took pride in was their language. And why is this important to note? Because when the Quran is revealed, it's revealed in very, very precise Arabic. And so if this is the final revelation, and it, it is to be... Uh, the means by which all nations and all peoples are to come to guidance, then its language has to remain, its message is, is to remain precise, and the way to keep precision is to keep precise language. And so that's one obvious reason. The other obvious reason is that the Arabic language is very rich and very nuanced, and more so than pretty much any other language in history. It has a very uh, complex system of grammar and a very complex system of word formation. So using that to communicate this incredibly rich message in which one statement can actually mean many, many, many things, it has many, many lessons embedded in it, uh, was only, it's only really possible in a language like the Arabic language. So its, its richness and its accuracy and its precision and its nuance are some of the obvious reasons why the Arabic language was chosen. And it should be noted that the vast majority of Muslims in the world are non-Arabs, and that you know, Arabic grammar and the greatest works of Arabic, you know, um, grammatical analysis and literary analysis of the Qur'an were actually done by non-Arabs. This is just our history. In other words, it wasn't about Arab supremacy, it was about the supremacy of the word itself. And that became even more important than nation or nationality.